name of my company is Image Designs. For a number of years, the rounded toes were in style, whether you did um, pumps, whether you did flats, whether you did slingbacks. Now it's gone back to the pointy toes, which are not unfortunately always as comfortable. So the other option, if you do want to be on trend, are the square toe shakes. And I'm going to be, actually, I have some styles here I can just really show you. This is an example of a square square toe shape. Um, Actually, what I like about this shoe is that it has some detail in the front. I'm going to be showing this with some of the drapey leg pants because when you wear those pants, all you really see is the front of the shoe. So that's why the pointy toe, the square toe, and some of the really uh, block heel styles are better. But this is an example of a, of a square toe. The pointy toe, I have an example of that here as well. You know, it's just a, um, comes to a point basically, but it, it looks nice sticking out of the drapey leg styles. On the wide leg pants and the different shoe styles that I'd like to present, a pair of fashion sneakers. They, they're white, but they have a couple different shades in them. They have a slight platform. These are by Chloe. They do come in several different color combinations. And I thought these would look great with these tan khaki wide leg pants in the middle. I mean, they're a slight cargo style. So they're casual and, and but they have the very wide leg at the bottom. And that's why I thought the, the sneakers would go well with them. The, this first pair, they have the square toe. They have a buckle, which would look really nice popping out from the wide leg pants. They have a block heel, you know, black leather. So I would recommend them. I would recommend these slingbacks, which have the pointed toe, which would which would look really nice with those pants. And then with the white, you could do, especially if you were going somewhere dressy, you could do this. It has a kitten heel. Um, another pair of slingbacks with the with the decorative silver buckle in the front, I think, but would look really good with these pants. This first style is a pair of flare leg jeans. I like these jeans because they're, you know, tailored. You don't usually see tailored style jeans like that. I like the way they're accessorized with the silver shoes and the silver belt. In menswear, it's always recommended to match your belt to your shoes. For women, it's not essential, but it, in this particular case, you know, it looks nice. The rest of her outfit is simple. With the second pair here, she has on contrasting shoes, but you can see how they match the color of the sweater. So it looks okay. And uh, I have this, these are, you know, very dramatic uh, platform block heel Mary Janes. They would go with those pants and they would actually go with the next style, which is a plaid. Um, and these are by Spanx, believe it or not. A plaid, uh, cropped flare, which she's just wearing with pointed toe ankle booties, which looks good. Uh, you could also do one of these lighter color shoes with that as well, either this one or this boot. Uh, and lastly, I have this pair of cropped denim, which I put in there just to show that you shouldn't worry about showing a little bit of an ankle. You could wear boots, you could wear flats. You just have to go about with confidence. So put on whatever shoe you prefer with this style of pant and just go about your business. And it doesn't matter if, you know, if they look short or your ankle is showing. I mean, that's that's basically the style, which I, I think is cute. I have a pair of, of jeans like that. But if you want to show off the style of the knee high or over the knee boot, a skinny leg narrow or a skinny leg narrow leg pant is the way to go. So you could definitely wear that with the with the first pair. I like these patent leather Mary Janes. These are by Sam Edelman. I haven't tried them on, but they look comfortable. I like the fact that they have the double strap. You know, they're just a little different. So, in fact, uh, here in the picture, she's wearing uh, silver Mary Janes flat. So you could definitely do a black pair. You could do a silver pair um, with the narrow leg jeans. You could do the little white booties. You could also do the black high boots. 
And I want to say something about um, patent leather because I actually don't recommend it for everyone. Patent, as you know, is a is a really shiny material. First of all, it's not real leather. It's it's a it's a man made material that just has that shine to it. It does work for some people. If you've ever had your colors done, or if you know your seasonal colors, the patent works best for the springs and the winters. And then lastly, we have, these are uh, narrow leg corduroys. You can see they come to the ankle and she's wearing uh, a block heel Mary Jane, which looks nice. And again, the color, she didn't match the color of the pants, but the black comes back to the shirt. So believe it or not, if you remember back, and this was when, back when I was little and I wore the patent leather Mary Janes every year, I wore them with these cotton rib net tights and believe it or not, they're back. You can wear them with contrasting shoes. You can wear them with similar color shoes. The nice thing is they're comfortable. They're warm. If you do like to wear skirts or dresses in the cold weather, these are a great way to keep your legs warm. The mm -hmm. style next to them is warm as well. It looks like it's the nude with a uh, crisscross design, but it's actually a thicker type. I would suggest if you don't already have in your wardrobe, getting a pair of these black opaque ones. If you want something fun, you can do something with a little pattern. You can do the white. You can do something that's just a little more um, intricate. And you can also do colored ones. And what what I would recommend is if you're doing colored hose, keep the rest of your outfit in a more classic style. The name of my company is Image Design. 